Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Ha, ha, ha. What up, everybody? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk. I'm back to give the people what they want, and what do the people want? They want a brand new Ricky Talk, and I'm your host, Ricky. And today is December 26, 2020, and what a beautiful day it is. You know, I'm here to talk to you guys about Christmas 2020 in the Del Rio household, which is myself, yours truly, your boy Ricky Rick, my dad, Marcos, my mom, Lupe, and my beautiful girlfriend, Maria. And, you know, I gotta say, I had a great Christmas, you know, I got to spend time with my dad, got to have a conversation with him, got to bond with him, got to have some drinks with him, got to eat with him. Same thing with my mom, had some drinks with my mom, got to eat, got to laugh, got to joke around. Um, same thing with my girlfriend, got to spend some time with her, laughing, talking, joking around, and just feeling love. You know, that's one thing I can't complain about. I am full of love. And it's all thanks to my family and her. You know, my love tank is in an ultimate high. I am full and overflowing. <laughs> and, you know, yesterday was really nice. We got to spend Christmas together in my house. And just the four of us. And, you know, we don't need more people than that. Especially in the time that we're in. Pandemic 2020. COVID-19. Uh-uh. Not us. We're doing whatever we can to stay safe and be precautious and, you know, doing everything that we can staying clean sanitizing washing our hands wearing face masks when we need to wearing gloves when we need to and avoiding people avoiding people you know i have people that i want to see there's people i want to hang out with and then again sometimes you know i'm good with the people that i have around me you know you know i'm really good this year these are the three other people i've been with you know constantly my dad my mom and my girlfriend and if you want to throw one more person, we'll throw in Cleo, my dog Cleo, our dog Cleo. I love Cleo. You know, Cleo is such a beautiful dog uh, that I got to know this year. I love walking her. I love, you know, petting her, seeing her happy, smiling. And, you know, I, every single time I say Cleo, I just want to give her nothing but love. Know that I love her. Know that I like her. And, you know dogs are one of the things that bring out the beauty about the world you know because it reminds us that <clears throat> there are good things about this world you know and animals pets are one of those things you know me having a beautiful relationship is another beautiful thing to have you know when you find the right person when you're in a good relationship it's nice to have a soulmate a couple um a partner who you can talk to, who you can rely on, who you can laugh with, who you can talk to, who is there for you and loves you when they love you. You know, one thing I love when I spend time with my girlfriend is like making her laugh, making her laugh and hear her smile, watching her, seeing her smile and seeing her laugh. And when I make her laugh like really hard that she can't control herself, makes me feel good. Makes me feel good that I'm doing a good job by her side and as her boyfriend same thing with my mom you know when i try to be there for my mom now that my parents are a little older i try to help around the household uh try to get more involved try to be there as much as that i can um same thing with my dad you know anytime my dad needs something i try to come through for him you know sometimes i had a long day at work or i got so much going on that involves you know these three people that i love and care about Sometimes I just come home and really sit down on the couch and then I start I start knocking out like an old fella. I'm old, you know, I start knocking out. I knock out quick. I fall asleep and I find myself snoring. I'm like, oh, who's that? Oh, that was me. <laughs> I was like, God damn, you know, definitely when you get old, you will realize it because you'll start seeing things that uh, you didn't do when you were in your 20s compared to your 30s like I find myself like you know loving naps now love cuddling you know um, 
coffee, you know. Because sometimes I just used to come home when I was in my 20s and just want to sit down on the couch and just chilling. And I'd be watching my programs all day. Now in my 30s, I'm just like, you know what? I feel like I need a nap. I need to, like, rest up like Goku in the tank, you know? But anyways, uh, Christmas, you know? Got to spend time with my mom. Got to spend time with my dad. Um, and when it came down to the moment of exchanging gifts, you know, it was beautiful. I think my dad and my girlfriend got the most gifts, then my mom and then myself. I'm like, what about me? What about me? Wasn't I a good son this year? You know? <laughs> but it's okay. Like, to me, having my dad, having my mom, and having my girlfriend is good enough. You know, I don't really need anything more than that. You know, I'm happy to have all three of them, and I'm happy they're all okay, and they're all healthy, and we're all good. You know, for me, that's good enough, you know? Um... But, yeah, it was nice to see them, like, you know, exchanging gifts, taking pictures, and enjoying each other's company. Because you always want your parents and the person that you're dating to get along. And it's always a beautiful thing to see that. When it happens and it's all natural and, you know, I find myself not stressing, not worrying. I find myself feeling good you know like right now i'm here at work and i'm on my lunch break and making this video and i feel good over the fact that i don't have to be oh where's my girlfriend at where's what is she doing i have no worries i have no stress you know same thing with my parents you know i know they're good you know i'm good you know they're doing the best that they can i'm doing the best i can i know my girl's doing the best that she can to handle the situation they're all in you know which is living in this pandemic but i'm happy i'm a happy guy i'm a blessed guy and also i want to take the time to say merry christmas to every single one of you guys whether you celebrate christmas eve or christmas day um i hope you guys had a good one hopefully you guys did your best to you know stay away from people you know hang out and celebrate with your loved ones the people in your household and I'm looking forward to New Year's. You know, I know it's going to be a little bit different. I've been thinking about it lately. What's going to look like? What are we going to do? I know we can't get along, go too crazy, but do the best we can to still make it feel. Celebrate life. Celebrate another year. Celebrate a new year. So that's my goal when it comes to New Year's. And hopefully I get to spend it with my girlfriend, you know, because... She has her parents too, and we also, you know, got to work things out when you're in a relationship, fighting the balance. Where do you go? Who do you hang out with? Who's doing something? Who's not? You know, try to make it work. Because when that ball drops, you know, I want my kiss. I want my New Year's kiss, you know, and I think I deserve it, you know. And I know I had many New Year's where I was alone or single, didn't have anybody. Now that I have somebody, you know, look forward to those moments. You know, you're looking forward to Valentine's. You look forward to Christmas. You look forward to your days off. And I'm looking forward to my days with my girlfriend. And my days off. Oh, also, I want to throw out there, you know, the fact that it was Christmas. Wonder Woman, the sequel, 1984, came out. Pixar dropped, sold on Disney+. Plus. And, you know, I watched both of those movies yesterday finally when I got a chance to um there was things that I liked about Wonder Woman there was things that I didn't like Pixar sold I actually thought I wasn't gonna like it I ended up liking it I ended up watching it twice that's right I already seen it twice it's a good movie definitely check it out to all the people who are watching this video Merry Christmas and be safe if you're doing anything for New Year's uh, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for supporting the channel. Don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget that I have a podcast. Follow me on social media. All that good stuff. Leave comments below. Give me some video ideas because I do need some. You know, sometimes I'm too busy. and I'm just like, what am I going to post? I don't just want to talk to you guys about sports and nonsense. You know, I also want to get back into deep shit. You know, things that got me noticed. So... Let me know if you're out there. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. 
As always, it's your boy Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, not making you smile, not keeping you entertained, your boy Ricky Rick ain't doing his job. And you already know, your boy Ricky Rick does his job. Until next time, guys, your boy is out.